Happy Sunday. So as we are preparing for the week ahead, let us take a moment to think about the numbers and not leaving any money on the table in February. So as you think about last month and what your numbers were, so some of the things that I talked about looking at in terms of numbers were revenue. Most of us will track that, right? Um, <laughs> but how much money came in, um, sales, what sales did you make, um, expenses, what expenses you have coming up or even for that month, but also thinking about your projections. Um, we also talked about leads. So what, how were your opt-ins performing? Um, and then just conversation. So, you know, looking at your overall pipeline. And one of the ways that many of us leave money on the table is by not having a solid follow-up process. So there may be some gaps in either how your leads are coming in or just how you're following up, whether it's in call, phone calls with people that have already expressed interest or even with prospects um, within your, uh, your list and your community and your Facebook group. For example, one of my clients has a free Facebook community. People are invited to join. There's a lot of people in that community and they have the questions where that people ask, you know, they're invited to ask these questions. They have to answer them to get in. And one of the questions is like, are you interested in working with us or having us help you to grow your business? And a lot of them say yes. And guess what happens? Nothing. <laughs> they're allowed in the community and she's doing her thing, but there is no system in place to actually to move those people. Um, to have conversations or anything outside of just, you know, engaging within the community. She could shorten the sales process by having to shore that up. So that's one of the ways that we'll, one of the things that we're working on right now is how do we implement a system or a process within, you know, so that we can start to build those relationships. But if people are like, I'm ready now, why are we making them wait, right? And if people aren't ready, they're in the community. So they get to build those relationships. We get to nurture them. We get to, you know, really get to know them, they get to know us, and we can move forward. So in that, we identified it, that this is a gap within her business. And then it was like, well, what's the best way for us to fix this? And who on the team is the best person? We have a community manager that is there. So she's identified some resources and some ways to work with um, to, to remedy this situation. And then also the sales team. We're also there. So how do we come in together and partner to streamline this process so that we're not having this gap that has now existed in her company for some time? And so these are just some of the things that I invite you to think about as we prepare for the week ahead. Are there some gaps within your sales system that you need to start to remedy or to repair so that you're not leaving money on the table? Sometimes it's not always the follow-up. Yes, a lot of times, you know, you don't have a solid follow-up system or you're not using it correctly or not using it at all. I've been there. <laughs> then yeah, you could leave the uh, money on the table that way. But sometimes we have these systems and we put them together and we need to go back and evaluate where there may be some ways that we can shore it up so that we can tighten up our systems and we can get the opportunity to work with those clients that are ready now. So what are some areas in your business, in your sales system, where you might need to evaluate and look at there may be some leaks that you need to plug or some things that you need to bridge the gap so that you cannot leave those leads out there or you can you know, bring that revenue in because those clients or prospects are ready to become clients like right now, okay? So they're not waiting until your next big launch. They're not waiting until your next big event or whatever the case may be for your particular business. So let us commit to not leaving money on the table in the month of February. We are going to do what we need to do to look at our sales systems, to have those follow-up conversations, to identify our low-hanging fruit, to make sure that we are following up with our prospects and our um, affiliate partners, our referral partners, our colleagues, whoever it is that we need to make sure we're touching base with so that we can have our systems running the way we want them to run in order to help us to achieve our goals this year. All right, deal? 
deal. All right, this is Dr. Nadia signing off. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.